This Friday is the big high school football matchup of the Holy War between Marion and St. Joe. And for the seniors, it's their last time playing in this historic rivalry. 16 News Now Sports Director Mark Skoll Jr. joins us in the studio to tell us about the special bond between three seniors on the St. Joe football team. Mark? Three St. Joe seniors are uber competitive. They've been that way since the day they were born. And one thing is always on their mind. Every time these triplets take the field at Leighton Stadium, they're playing for Dutch. I think growing up there definitely was. Had to let my brothers know who, who came first. The Driscoll triplets, John, Patrick, and Ryan, are all entering their senior year playing football at St. Joe. And they're all soaking in their last year together. Being a triplet is so much fun. It's like having two best buddies around all day. I think as the season goes on by, I think it's going to start to be a bittersweet feeling. You know, um, not, not too many people can say they played football with their triple brothers. Being the mother of high school football playing triplets certainly can be stressful, but Kara Driscoll says raising her boys has been a lot of fun. They're such good kids. They really get along with each other, so that makes my job really easy. But the younger years, zero to five, were complete chaos. They would always run in three different directions. So, and it was just me. So that was really hard. Kara has been a single mother ever since the boys were 16 months old. Her husband and John Patrick and Ryan's father, John, passed away from a brain tumor in 2002. When you're very young, it's kind of hard to understand how deep of a situation that is, not knowing you don't have your biological father with you. And um, as you get older and you start to realize that that's when it started hitting the worst. John played lacrosse at the University of Virginia, where he wore the number 32. On their 18th birthdays, both John and Ryan got tattoos to make sure they carry their father's memory with them everywhere they go. I had always had the idea that I wanted to get one, and I made my final decision to get it on my side, so he's always on my side. And I think just keeping that really close to my heart has been another way of reminding me that he's really never left us. Kara feels like John is still in her home every day. Every time she turns a corner and sees one of her boys, she sees John. John was just a really kind person. He had a lot of compassion. The best of him, he passed on to his children. And it's so great to see that in him. And despite never truly knowing their father, the Driscoll boys say they are still very close to him. I just need to have that kind of close relationship with him, even though physically it was never there. We could, like, spiritually, I think it's definitely there. I think inside of us that it's definitely there. And inside of the pearly gates in the sky, the Driscoll boys know their father is looking down at them, watching every step of the way. I really think he is proud of all of us. Um, we, we've all, we all resemble him in some way, and we all have like been successful at school and sports and everything like that, so, and gentlemen and everything, so I really think he does respect us. And now Kara says she is not looking forward to the day John, Patrick, and Ryan graduate from St. Joe. She does not want to be an empty nester and will cherish every moment of their senior year and the 2019 football season forever.